you're here. Join me as I read the Schwartz Principles of Surgery 11th edition and the topic is cholangiohepatitis. You will find this on page 1410. Let's start. Cholangiohepatitis, also known as recurrent pyogenic cholangitis, is endemic to the Orient. It also has been encountered in Asian population, also in United States, Europe, and Australia. It affects both sexes equally and occurs more frequently in the third and fourth decades of life. Cholangiohepatitis is caused by bacterial contamination, commonly by E. coli, Klebsiella, Bacteroides, and Enterococcus faecalis of the biliary tree, and often it is associated with biliary parasites such as Clonorchis sinensis, Opis thorchis viverini, and Ascaris lumbricoides. Bacterial enzymes cause the conjugation of the bilirubin, which precipitates as bile sludge. The sludge and dead bacterial cell bodies form brown pigment stones the nucleus of which may contain an adult clonorchis worm, an ovum, or an ascarid. These stones can form throughout the biliary tree and cause partial obstructions that contribute to repeated bouts of cholangi cholangitis, biliary structures, further stone formation, infection, hepatic abscesses, or liver failure, secondary to biliary cirrhosis. Patients with cholangiohepatitis usually present with pain in the right upper quadrant or epigastrium, fever, and jaundice. Relapsing symptoms are one of the most characteristic features of the disease. The episodes may vary in severity but without intervention will gradually lead to malnutrition and hepatic insufficiency. An ultrasound may detect stones in the biliary tree, pneumobilia from infection by gas-forming organisms, liver abscesses, and occasionally strictures. The gallbladder may be thickened and inflamed in about 20% of patients but rarely contains gallstones. ERCP or MRCP can be utilized for biliary imaging for cholangiohepatitis. They can detect obstructions and define strictures and stones. ERCP or PTC, if necessary, has additional benefit of allowing for emergent decompression of the biliary tree in the septic patient. Hepatic abscesses may be drained percutaneously. The long-term goal of therapy is to extract stones and debris and relieve strictures. It may take several procedures and in severe refractory cases in which stones and strictures cannot be relieved. It may require hepatico jejunostomy to re-establish biliary enteric continuity. Occasionally, resection of involved areas of the liver may offer the best form of treatment. Recurrences are common and the prognosis is poor once hepatic insufficiency has developed. So that's it for cholangiohepatitis. Thank you.